Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to do a really nice kind of like post-workout stretchy yoga flow. So this is perfect um, if you've just done a workout, maybe been for a run, a cycle, lifted some weights. So it's a perfect cool down, wind down flow. But equally, if you're on a rest day and you just need some nice active recovery, then it's also suitable for that as well. So as always, if you have any injuries, then please just work to your own body's limitations. Don't force, don't push anything. If you feel any pain, then please stop, ease out of the pose and maybe modify it. If things are just a little bit uncomfortable, then we work to find some comfort in that discomfort. So bear with it and just use the breath just to try and get into some of those more challenging postures and poses. So we're gonna to start today down in child's pose. So just come in onto all fours, bring the big toes to touch with that gap in the knees. If the hips are fairly tight, then maybe bringing the knees a little bit closer together or just taking them just a little bit wider and then just start to settle down. Take the arms out straight ahead and take the forehead down into the mat. So just maybe moving the head and the neck from side to side, just for a moment. And then settling down into the pose. Just taking a quick scan of the body, just to start. So just noticing how it's feeling today. Noticing anything that comes up or into your head and then just moving on. No attachment to those thoughts. Then bringing the attention to the breath. So throughout today's practice, we're gonna maintain a nasal breath. So breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. So just gently bringing the attention to that breath now, not forcing, not pushing. So just a nice natural breath. Just knowing at any point during the practice, you can come back to this pose, come back to this breath. And if you find the mind starts to wander during practice, then just gently guiding it back to the breath. And just start to make the breath just a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. So taking deeper inhales. Maybe feeling the ribs expand onto the thighs. And then as you exhale, completely letting go, release and relax. Noticing if there's any tightness or tension in the face, the neck, the jaw, just soften and release. Just taking a couple more breaths here. And then taking the left arm, left hand, folding it under the right. Taking the left cheek down to the floor, the left shoulder. Just starting to stretch and release those shoulders. And then switching over, so left hand comes out, right hand folds under this time. to center, just walking the hands up, bringing the knees just a little bit closer together. And then from here, take the right hand down, reach up and over with the left hand. Maybe taking the gaze up towards the hand or just down to the right hand with the next tight. Try to slide this right shoulder away from the ear so not bunching up. Just relax. Inhale, back to center, take the left hand over this time. So really starting to bend down into the sides of the body, relaxing that right shoulder. Inhale, exhale, release. From here, just clasping the hands, sending the hands away, tuck the chin down into the chest. So really opening out into the shoulders, 
Draw the navel into the spine, pressing the hands away. Inhale. Exhale, release, clasping the hands to the base of the spine, this time lifting the chest and the chin, maybe starting to take a tiny little bend into the lower back if that feels good. So we're opening up the front of the shoulders and the chest. Inhale. Exhale, back to centre. Inhale, take both hands up. As you exhale, just take the right hand just behind the feet, take the left hand to the outside of the right knee, just gently twisting over the right shoulder. If this is too much on the knees in a kneeling position, you can come down into a flat seated position. Inhale, the hands up. Exhale, taking it over to the other side. So left hand just behind the body this time, right hand to the outside of the left knee. Gently taking the gaze over the left shoulder. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, release, coming back to centre. Taking your weight over onto all fours into our tabletop position. From here, taking the right foot back, lifting the right knee, just pressing the right heel gently down towards the floor. So really stretching into the right calf. Starting to open out the front of the right hip. Breathing here. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale, back to centre, left foot this time. So taking the left heel, pressing it gently towards the floor, feeling that release in the left calf. Maybe feeling a slight stretch in the quad too. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, placing that left knee down. We're just going to tuck the toes here, gently walk the hands back and come into a toe stretch. So just settling the butt down on the heels. This is so good for really getting into the base of the feet, stretching out the toes. It's a really, really intense stretch. It's so good for us. Yes, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but just trying to bear with it as much as you can. If it's too much, if you need to ease it, maybe just walking the hands forward slightly and just taking a little bit of pressure off those toes. But if you can, grin and bear it just for a few more breaths. So if it is really uncomfortable, just bringing the attention back to that breath. So where we started the practice with that breathing, just taking the attention away from those toes, back to the breath, two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, release. That's really sore, untuck the toes, but it's so, so good. As I said, for reaching in to the base of those toes. Just give the toes just a little bit of a wiggle. If that is a little bit sore, come back to that breath. And then we're gonna make our way into our first downward facing dog. So taking the hands, shoulder width apart, spread the fingers nice and wide, really grounding into the hands. Tuck the toes, send the seat back towards the heels. Start to press into the hands, straighten out those legs. Hips up to the ceiling and then just put some movement in your dog. So bending one knee and then another, maybe twisting into the hips. Whatever your body needs today, so remember, we're trying to send the hips nice and high with length through the spine. So if we need to stay here with the knees bent, with the spine long, then that's absolutely fine. If you are more open, then maybe taking the heels down towards the floor, just making sure we're not compromising these lovely high hips. And then finding some stillness in your dog. So take the gaze between the ankles or the knees. Remember, we're pressing gently, guiding the chest towards the thighs. Take two breaths here. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Nice, soft bend in the knees. Slowly walk the hands in towards the feet. When they get there, find your rag doll. So gently. Just swaying from side to side. So catching hold of either elbow. And really letting the upper body completely hang heavy. Head and neck are nice and loose. So maybe nodding the head, yes. Shaking the head, no. 
switching the weight backwards and forwards between the heels and the toes just whatever feels good here for you breathing nice and deeply take one more breath here and release the arms slowly rolling up to standing keep the chin and the head tucked slowly coming up to standing um, when you get this, sweep the hands straight up. Catch hold of the left wrist and then inhale, reach the hands up. As we exhale, just taking a bend over to the right hand side. So really lengthening through the left hand side of the body, pressing into the left foot. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switching. So catching hold of the right wrist this time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bending over to the left hand side this time. So just pressing the right foot down. Inhale. Exhale, back to centre. Floating the hands down by the side. Finding your Tadasana. So taking the big toes to touch with that slight gap in the heels. Really grounding the toes down into the mat, reaching up through the inner, through the inner arches of the feet. The knees lift and the quads engage. Tucking that tailbone under, so the core's engaged. Give those shoulders a nice big roll. Take the hands by the sides, palms facing forwards, and just close the eyes off here. Just gently shifting the weight backwards and forwards between the heels and the toes and finding that sweet spot where you're standing strong, you're standing tall. Keeping the eyes closed, just bring the attention back to that breath. So really focusing on the breath. Imagine the body is one line of energy from the feet all the way up to the crown of the head. He's standing strong, he's standing tall. Take one breath here together, inhale. Exhale. And the next inhale, float the hands up towards the ceiling, take the gaze up to the thumb. As you exhale, take a deep forward fold, softening the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, lift the chest, half forward fold. Plant the hands, walk the feet forward into our plank pose. Drop down onto the knees, chest and chin lower down into our chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes down, we're facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, step the right foot forward, drop down onto the left knee, rising up low lunge. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here, inhale. As you exhale, frame the right foot with the hands, tuck the toes on the left foot, lift the left knee, step back down with dog. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale. On the next inhale, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee, lift on an inhale, low lunge. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, frame the left foot, step back, downward dog. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, walk or step the feet into the hands. When you get there, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, press into the feet, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Find your mountain pose again, find that point where you're standing tall, you're standing strong. Inhale here. Exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. From here, grounding into the right foot, you're going to bring the left knee up in towards the chest. Lifting it away and take a breath, inhale. As you exhale, stepping a big step back with the left foot, bending into the right knee, lifting the arms up, finding that high lunge. So soften the left knee, really bending into the right knee. Really engaging the core here. Inhale. Exhale, hands down to heart center. Coming right up onto the toes of the left foot. Press into the right foot. We're gonna inhale, come back up onto that right foot. And 
stepping back to a mountain pose. Doing the same on the other side, so weight into the left foot this time. Inhale, lift the right foot. Exhale, take a big step back with the right foot, finding that high lunge, bending into the left knee, opening out the hip flexors. Inhale, exhale, one more breath. Inhale, exhale, hands to heart, stepping in, lifting that foot. Exhale, hands to heart. From here, we're going to take a big step back with the right foot this time. And then we're going to turn forwards, just angling the toes very slightly outwards, coming in to our star pose, just to start. So inhale. Exhale. So really finding energy from this pose. Take the hands to the hips, we inhale. As you exhale, hinging from the hips deep, forward fold. Hands below the face. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Take a breath here, inhale. As you exhale, start to bend into the right knee. Start to gradually walk the hands over to the right leg, over to the right foot. Bending, coming in to our low side lunge. Staying here, if that's enough, really flexing that left foot up or taking that left arm up overhead. Trying to keep the heel pressed down if it's too much, then staying on the toes if you need to. Just really stretching into those hip flexors. Take one more breath. And then gently switching over onto the other side. You might want to take the toes on the left foot out in a little bit more of an angle. Again, right toes up to the ceiling. If you want to take that arm up overhead, if not, then just staying here. Inhale. Exhale, slowly walking back into centre place, both hands down underneath the face again. Inhale, lift the chest, half forward fold. Exhale, fold. Bring the hands back to the hips. Inhale, rising up, flat back. Exhale, step right foot forward to left at the top of the mat. Find your mountain pose again, reset. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath, inhale. Exhale. Finding our warrior three here. So bring the hands into heart center just to start. We inhale, lift the left knee up. As you exhale, start to send the left leg back. So let's take the chest forward, take the left leg no higher than hip height. So really grounding into that right foot. Really calming the mind, focusing on that balance, stretching in to that right calf. Exhale, coming back to center. And on the other side, grounding into that left foot this time. So inhale, float the right knee up. As you exhale, send the right leg back. So we're really focusing on strengthening those legs, opening out the hips. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, floating back to centre. Mountain pose one more time. Inhale, flat the hands up. Exhale, deep forward fold. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale. Take the gaze up to the hands, soften the knees. Step the right foot to the outside of the hands. To the outside of the mat, coming down into our lizard pose. So really stretching into the hip flexors here. Maybe taking the right hand to the inside of the right knee. Taking the gaze up over the right shoulder. Or maybe coming down onto the forearms and just deepening that pose. Again, whatever works for you. Just finding a little bit of movement to find that sweet spot. And then breathing into any areas that feel tight or tense. Or maybe just a little bit uncomfortable. Staying here for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, tuck the toes in the left foot, lift the left knee, step right foot back to left, finding our plank pose. Inhale on, exhale. Inhale, lift the 
Now set the left foot to the outer edge of the mat this time. Both hands to the inside of the left foot, finding our lizard pose on the left side. Same again, maybe taking the left hand to the inside of the left knee and taking the gaze up over the shoulder or coming down onto the forearms, just finding whatever position works for you. Maybe finding some movement until we find that spot. And then taking two breaths here together, inhale one, exhale, inhale two, Exhale. Tip the toes on the right foot, lift the right knee, step back down with dog. Inhale one. Exhale, drop down onto the knees and tuck the toes. Here, we take a big stretch out of the shoulders. So staying on the knees, again, or coming down into a comfortable seated position, whatever works for you. We take the hands out to the side. And then bring them to the centre, cross one arm around the other. I lift palm to palm or back of the hand to the back of the hands, finding our bind. And then just gently lifting, seeing so if you can get the shoulder, elbows above the shoulders, take the gaze up to the thumbs, really pressing the shoulders open here. And then breathing. One more breath. And really stretch it out. This time taking the bind the opposite way. Again, palm to palm or back of hand to back of hand. And then lifting, taking the gaze up towards the hand. Again, really opening out the shoulders, releasing. Inhale. Exhale, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, releasing here. Taking seated position here. We're going to take a bind with the big toes. So piece fingers and thumbs around the big toes. Bend the knees, take the chest onto the thighs, taking a forward fold. So we want the chest to remain in contact with the thighs for as long as we can. We gently start to walk the feet forward. As soon as we feel that contact lost with the chest and the thighs, then this is where we stay in our forward fold. So carry on walking forward until you get to that point. And then just breathing here. Really breathing into the hamstrings. One last inhale. Exhale, releasing here. Take the soles of the feet together. Clasp the hands around the toes and just gently walk the body in towards the heels. Just gently moving the legs up and down, opening out those hips. Maybe taking forearms to the inside of the calves and gently guiding those hips down. Just releasing and relaxing any other tensions in those hips. And just start to bring that breathing down, bring that breath down, slowing the heart rate. And then gently make your way down onto your back. And the knees bend, just heel toe the feet to the outer edge of the mat, knock the knees in. Just windscreen wiping the knees from side to side. So releasing any last bits of tension or tightness in the hips. Then let the knees fall over to the right. Take the gaze to the left. Take the arms over straight out to the side. Or in that E or that cactus shape. Maybe just closing the eyes up here if that feels good. Breathing into that twist. So we're really stretching in to the left hand side of the body. Feeling a release in the left quad, hamstring, hip, glute. And then pick the knees up, take them over to the left, take the gaze over to the right. Trying to get both knees down towards the floor, but keep both shoulders on the floor. Inhale. And then coming back to centre. Pick up the knees at this time, bringing them in, giving yourself a hug and just gently rocking from side to side. Really pressing the spine down into the mat. 
And then giving yourself a big hug, bringing the nose up towards the knees, hooking everything in. And then taking the hands overhead, the feet down. Take a full body stretch. And then make your way down into your final Shavasana. So just letting the feet and the knees just flop open. Take the hands by the sides with the palms facing up and just close the eyes off here. This is our final Shavasana or our final resting pose. Just letting the physical practice and the workout and any physical activities that we've done today download into the body. This is where the body reaps the benefits. Where there's nothing left to do but just relax, just release and let go. So gently bring the attention back to the breath. So the same way that we started the practice, any thoughts that pop into the head, just let them go. There's nothing you can do about them right now. All you can do is relax and be still. So just staying here for as long as you need. And when you're ready, just gently bringing some movement back into the fingers and toes. And then taking a full body stretch, just like you're waking up on a brand new day. Bring the knees into the chest, just take yourself over onto one side and then press up into a comfortable seated position just to close the practice. Take the hands into heart centre, close the eyes off, just bow the chin into the chest, the forehead down towards the hands and just take a moment to thank yourself for listening to your body, for practising without ego and for taking the time out for yourself. Thank you so much for letting me guide you through that practice. Namaste.